So problem 21, we've got amicable numbers. So this is probably the most complicated one we've done so far, but basically what an amicable number is, or what an amicable number pair is, um, is you take a number, so I'm just going to go through the example, don't worry about this bit up here. Um, you basically, you take a number, you find all the divisors of it, so any number that will divide into it without remainder. You then sum these numbers, and you get a number. So for 220, these are the numbers. You sum these together and you get 284. Now, what you do with 284 is you do the exact same thing. So you find its divisors, which are these numbers right here. You sum these, and then you find you get 220. So 220 gives you 284, and then 284 gives you 220. So this is what makes it an amicable number pair. So to code this, what we're going to need is we're going to need some way of finding divisors. We're then going to need to sum these divisors, return a number, and then that number needs to go through the same process and see if we get the same number back. So, um, okay, so define, we're going to have a, a function that will return divisors. So we're going to call it find divisors oops and it's going to take in n now what it's going to do here is oops okay so it's going to take in n and we're going to say start at x equals 1 because 1 is a potential divisor okay in fact, what we're going to call this is um, potential divisors. Uh, potential divisor. Now that's going to equal one, and we're going to say while potential divisor is um, less than n, um, and we also want a, a list of divisors. And that's going to be empty to start with, and obviously at the end we're going to return the list of divisors, okay? Because that's what this function is going to do. Now inside this while loop, we're going to say if n uh, mod potential divisor is equal to zero, then we know we've got ourselves a divisor. Therefore, we're going to say List of divisors dot append, and we're going to append. Uh, sorry, not n. We're going to append potential divisor. Then, regardless of if we have a divisor or not, we want to iterate this number. So, potential divisor plus equals one, and that should be it. Um, so, if we just print find divisors of say ten. Um, and we call this. So you see we get 1, 2 and 5 which you know are all the divisors of 10. Obviously 10 is a divisor as well but we don't include that. Um, basically for amicable numbers. Uh, it tells us that in the definition if you come over to here. Uh, you see like for 220 it doesn't actually include the number 220 it just goes up to 110. So we know this function up here is working so now what we need is our main function. Now what main's going to do, um, I actually think I forgot to go through what the goal is, but the goal is to evaluate the sum of all the amicable numbers under 10,000. So what we need up here is, um, so we're going to call 10,000 our cap. So cap equals 10,000. Um, I've actually recently upgraded to Python 3.6 as well. And I think, we'll just test this now, but I think it actually lets you put underscores in like this. So this 10,000 should work, I think. Um, let me just call main, and like let me print out cap. Does this work? Yeah, so you see, this underscore actually works. Um, so just a side note, if you've got Python 3.6 or later, um, instead of having like really ugly numbers like this, and not knowing how many zeros are in it, you're actually allowed to put underscores in now, so 10,000 
10 million um, and you see we get 10 million printed out um, just a little interesting side note um, there's also huge speed increases in Python 3.6 I realised last night when I was messing about with it but anyway let's come out so our caps 10,000 now what we're going to do is we're going to say for each number so um, so we're going to have a number that's going to be we'll just call it a number a uh, number equals 1 to start out with now what this is going to do is this is going to be the number we iterate over so we want to return the divisors of it um, actually should we have a amicable number test function or not See, we could we could have another function where basically we um, we put we send a number into it and it tells us is it an amicable number pair is it like part of an amicable number pair um, but honestly we could just do all that in main it's not like main's going to be too big let's just do it in main so we're going to say while number is less than the cap we're going to say if the okay so what what we want to do we want to let me just write this out so we're going to take the number we're going to say um, find divisors of number once we have the divisors we want to sum them find divisors of oops of this new number sum them and if this sum is equal to our original oops original number then we have an amicable pair so add to our list now so what we need up here is whoops list of amicable numbers this is going to be empty to start with because we don't have any so we're going to say divisors <coughs> uh, actually we'll say list of divisors is equal to find divisors of number okay so that does step one this finds the divisors of the number now we want to sum them so um, sum of divisors uh, we're going to say of we're going to say of number um, and we're going to say here of number as well because we're going to be doing this twice you'll see in a sec now sum of divisors is equal to um, this can be zero and then we're going to say for i in list of divisors of number uh, sum of divisors of number plus equals i ok so hopefully that makes sense we're just going to loop over this actually can you just sum that uh, let me just try this because I know in the previous video I made we couldn't have done it but I think that was to do with the fact that it had strings in uh, if we just print some list of divisive number what does that do ok so we get 0 um, oh that's actually hold on so if I say uh, number plus oops, plus equals 1 ah so it does work right so you see we're getting actual numbers out so you actually you can find prime numbers this way as well because any that have a total of 1 um, these will obviously be prime numbers but anyway so this sum is actually working um, that's quite handy we don't have to do all this crap up here uh, whoops! There we go. So we've got the sum, and we want that to be sum of 
divisors of number that's going to be equal to that now find divisors of this new number so we want to say basically what we're going to do we're going to copy this um, but this is going to be of new number and this is going to be finding the divisors of the sum of divisors of number if that makes sense um, now we're going to copy this because we need to do the exact same thing again we need to sum them but instead we're going to call it sum of divisors of new number and we're summing this list instead now what we need to say is if so we need to know is the sum of these divisors equal to our original number so if basically let me just copy this so if this is equal to our number then we know we found an amicable pair so what we're going to do we could add both of these to our list um, but that's not very good because for example if the number that we test is say 9999 and it just so happens that the sum of all the divisors of 9999 are say 10,200 um, and that they both happen to be amicable numbers if, if they are, I'm not saying they are, but if they are then 10,200 would then get added to our list but we only want all the amicable numbers below 10,000 I think I think that's the way it's worded so we only want to add the original number um, hopefully this makes sense to you I'm not too sure how to explain this any better but so basically what we're going to do we're going to append to this and rather than appending both numbers we are just going to append number because think of it if there's two numbers and they're both below 10,000 eventually we're going to get to the other number anyway because we're going over all these numbers so yeah let's let's do that and now finally at the end we need to say number plus equals one and then once we break out of that we're going to say print sum of list of amicable numbers and now hopefully this will give us our answer so let's go taking a little while to run obviously this is going to be really like computationally intensive because of the fact that we're finding all divisors of like 10,000 numbers um, and not only that but we find in all these divisors then the divisors of the sum of the divisors and stuff like that so it's like basically 20,000 numbers that we're trying to find divisors of but you see we finally get an answer we get 40,284 now unfortunately that's actually wrong uh, the answer you can see is 31,626 so let's try to figure out where we went wrong Um. So what if instead of appending number, we append um, no it's got to be number surely, it's got to be a number we append I actually don't understand why this has gone wrong. Um, maybe our cap is too big. Maybe it's like meant to be nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Although I find it really hard to believe that that would make us like just under ten thousand out. So maybe let's try. Nope. So I'm just going to put this back to the 10,000 because I have a feeling this is right. Um, so if we look at this list of divisors here, I have a feeling some of these are too big. Like 11,700 is unlikely, I think. 
But then again, maybe not. I'm not too sure. Um. Interesting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have a look for my old code of how I did this. I'm pretty sure I've got it lying about somewhere, so give me two seconds while I find that. Um, amicable numbers. Can I drag this into Sublime? Yes, I can. So this is how I've done it before. So you can see I've done it very similar. We've got factorize the number. Um, I actually returned total advisors from that. That's probably a bit cleverer. I did this so long ago. Wow. Well. Okay, so you see, this is probably the, the step I'm going wrong. We've got all these different conditions here. So, first of all, we're testing is y equal to the test number. So what what this is doing this this little step right here. If y is equal to test number, that is basically this little bit here. Um, but not only that, I also test whether or not x is bigger than y, and I also test if x is less than the number some amicable numbers too. So if x is less than ten thousand, and I also check if y is less than ten thousand. Um, so this is our problem I think I have a feeling that um, the way the question is asking is it, it wants um, basically what I was saying earlier if like, you pick 9999 and it's other number is above 10,000 then you discount both numbers I think is the way this is working so what we need to do is we need to find a way of adapting our code so that if one of the pairs is above 10,000 we then don't count it. So what I'm going to say is um, so we're going to say and sum of divisors of number is less than cap. Now that there should work. I don't see any reason why that shouldn't. But it didn't. Interesting. What about and number less than cap? I don't see why this should matter though, because number should always be less than cap because of this condition up here, but let's just see. Nope. What was the final one that I had? I had x bigger than y. So if we say and number bigger than um, sum of divisors of number. Okay, so now we get 16,000. Now, what we need to do now is um, we need to append number and we also need to append the sum of divisors of number, I think. Now, if I do this, does this work? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the problem was so the problem was the fact that it was taking pairs that were like one of them was above 10,000 um, but to stop it doing that what we had to do was add both numbers at the same time so here what this is doing is adding both pairs like both parts of the pair um, but then to stop it adding the pair twice because obviously it's going to add the pair 
when we are we're at this number and like when this number gets checked and checked for an amicable number status whatever um, but then it's also going to try and add it when we get to this number so to stop that happening we only add it when number is bigger than sum of divisive number um, because obviously for one of these this number is going to be bigger than one of them the number is going to be less than so you'll see if I actually have this less than and um, it should also work because it should basically just be adding them like in a different order if that makes sense yeah there so I'm quite surprised at how fiddly this one was I thought it'd be a lot simpler but there we go there's the answer um, hopefully that helped um, I don't think there's anything else to add to this obviously we could improve the computation time somehow um, maybe by doing stuff like prime divisors up here and then like figuring out the divisor because obviously th this is where all the the time comes from and um, finding the divisors just takes ages but yeah um, that's the problem done leave a like if you liked it subscribe if you want to see more of this sort of stuff thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video